It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Richard Dawkins got himself in a bit of a mess. Back in April the 10th, 2021, he published this. In 2015, Rachel Delazelle, a white chapter president of the NAACP, was vilified for identifying as black. Some men chose to identify as women, and some women chose to identify as men. You will be vilified if you deny that they're literally what they identify as. Discuss. As you guys can see in the tweet, he is not necessarily making a hard stance when it comes down to this issue. But of course, people did not like the tweet, and as a result of the tweet, he got his award revoked from the Secular Humanist Organization because they found the tweet to be very offensive. And more recently, he went on Pierce Morgan's show to talk about the issue about sex. Because it's like a humongous debate right now if there's like two sex or more sex. Well, it's just what's extraordinary to me is they, they want to what they call degender and neutralize language. But they're doing it from a completely false pretext that you can somehow pretend biology doesn't exist, particularly when it comes to someone's sex. I mean, it's incontrovertible. There's no scientific doubt about this. And yet a small group of people have been quite successful, actually, in reshaping vast swathes of the way society talks and is allowed to talk. It's bullying. Uh, and we've seen the, the way um, J.K. Rowling has been bullied, Kathleen yeah. Stock has been bullied. Um, they've stood up to it. But, but um, it's very upsetting the way... This tiny minority of people has managed to capture the discourse and to um, really talk arrant nonsense. What's the answer to it? Science. I mean, um, there are two sexes. Um, you can talk about gender if you wish, and that's a subjective... I'm not but when people say there are 100 genders, yeah, for example. Well, yeah, I'm not interested in that. As, as a biologist, there are two sexes, mm. uh, and that's all there is to it. To the average Joe, what Richard Dawkins said in that video interview is nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, it's backed up by verifiable scientific data. And that the only real people that took issue with what he had to say were those that made the argumentation that there's actually more than one sex or more than two genders. Besides the first definition, which is sexual intercourse, the second definition of sex is the main categories of men and women in which humans and other living things are divided based upon their reproductive functions. So what exactly are the differences between a biological male and a biological female? For starters are the private parts because males have penises while women have vaginas. Women also have breast tissue and of course there are some cases where men might also might have breast tissues, but not most men. There's also the case of the brains, because the female brain is pretty much different in comparison to the male brain. We also know from the vocal cords, because men have different vocal cords in comparison to women, and so these other kind of factors, along with chromosomes, are the main determining factors of what constitute as a male or a female. Now, some people might argue, well, geez, Tyler, what about the issue of herapodice or intersex people? Or what about the issue of those that have extra chromosomes? For the case of triple X or XXY, there are actually amoralities. But they're either male or female, irregardless if they actually have that immorality. And for the case of intersex or arapidite people, we know that they either feel one way or the other way. So even though they have both body parts at the same time, they either feel more masculine or more feminine. Now the idea of gender comes directly from a guy named John Money. Money's views on sex and gender were initially developed through experimentation on intersex babies, infants born with neither definitively male nor female sex characteristics. And Money's view, the best way to treat these babies 
or to use hormones and surgery to steam them into one gender as early as age as possible. The sex organs the children were born with ultimately did not matter. The most important thing was that they were raised wholly and exclusively in that chosen gender. According to an essay in Salon, however, intersex children were not money's main concern. He was more interested in the gender identity development of children with normal sex characteristics. He wanted to apply his theory about the mass ability of gender to all children. The problem, of course, was he proven this hypothesis. Born in 1965, David Reamer was a perfectly healthy baby boy. Known then as Bruce, he was one half of an identified pair of twins born to Janet and Ron Reamer, a working class couple from Winnipeg, Canada. Eight months after his birth, however, he was the victim of a tragic accident, one that was set in motion one of the cruelest medical experimentations in recent history. The Rima trans were born with natural male genitalia, but when the twins were seven months old, their mother noticed that both of them were having trouble urinating. Early one morning, when the twins were undergoing surgery, Janet and Ron received a phone call. Something has gone wrong. Either through a malpractice or error, Reamer has suffered several injuries to his penis. In other words, the idea of gender and sex being totally different things comes directly from this sick pedophile. But it's also what's really crazy to me too, is the fact that many people who are supposed to skeptics actually went after Richard Dawkins for his comments. It is so damn sad that Dawkins, who wrote some wonderful books explaining evolution, chose this particular hill to die on. Shannon Q said, I think gender and sex are different and that Richard Dawkins has fallen so far in the grip train that he's peddling on Fox to idiots and biggest and anyone should pity him or ignore him. Jake, directly from the Bible Reloaded, stated that the dude lost the plot ages ago. He is right about one subject and he starts huffing his own farts. Matt Dillahunty said it's a pity that he doesn't seem to be fully accurate on sex and that he attempted to dismiss any actual discussion of gender with I don't care. When he started saying transphobes are bravely standing up to bullies with your spare millions, you lost the plot. I find it so amusing that like a lot of the public skeptic figures are not necessarily skeptical about their own positions. Maybe, just maybe, that they need to reevaluate their position before they start, you know, be like condescending towards somebody just because they follow the evidence. But uh, what do you guys think about this whole entire controversy? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.
It's everyone's friend. It's Tyler. It's everyone.